Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Go High Level account. And more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question I keep getting a lot on my other video. And that is, how do you set up a client sub account in Go High Level? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how to give the login access to your client as well. But why would you wanna set up a client sub account anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. The nice thing about Go High Level is you can set up sub accounts and it doesn't cost you anything extra, but you can charge your customers for access. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Go High Level Agency dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my agency dashboard and this is the home screen. Now here on your agency dashboard, if you want to go ahead and add a client sub account, first what you're going to do is here on the left, look for this button here called sub accounts. Looks like a little person next to it. Okay, here you're going to see all of the sub accounts that you have with Go High Level. You can see I just have this one account. Now in order to add a client sub account up here on the top right, click on this green button, add sub account. Okay, so the cool thing about Go High Level is they have a lot of templates set up depending on the type of company that you are setting up for your client. So let's say they're in the finance or bookkeeping, you can go ahead and choose this. And so basically what's happening is it's going to help you set up their account much quicker because they have already set up basic funnels and basic templates. Now, if your client doesn't fall into one of these categories, you can go ahead and choose this one blank snapshot. But as you can see, there are quite a few templates that are available. So if they fall into one of those categories, I would recommend you go ahead and choose one of those just to help speed up the process. But I'm gonna go ahead and choose blank snapshot. All right, I'm gonna click on select and continue. Okay, next you wanna go ahead and search for your business if they have their business showing up in the maps already. Okay, so I'm gonna just choose this one. Okay, so once you found that business on the maps, go ahead and select them. Okay, next you wanna go ahead and set up the account info. So let's go ahead and just type in John Doe and then their email address. Right here, you can go ahead and edit this information if you wish to do so. This one down here is gonna be pretty important, time zone, because a lot of the automations are based off of the time zone. So make sure that you correctly choose the time zone that that company works in. Okay, and then we're gonna click on save. Okay, a quick second later, the page refreshes and now you can see the sub account for my client has now been set up. So this is really important right here. You can go ahead and set up their social profiles for them right here if you wanna do that. And that's just gonna kinda speed along the process for them. You can go ahead and click here, general info and make any kind of edits here that you see fit. This one's really important as well if you are doing rebilling. So if your client is gonna be doing, let's say WhatsApp messages, or sending emails, or they're gonna be using the phone systems, this is where you can go ahead and upcharge them. So for example, if they're gonna do WhatsApp messages right down here, okay, here's WhatsApp conversation, you can go ahead and enable. And once you enable it, it's going to allow you to go ahead and choose how much of a markup you're gonna add into these other services. So that's actually pretty cool. And you wanna see what their account is gonna look like from their perspective. You up here on the top right, you can click on switch to sub account. Okay, so this is their user account. So when they log into Go High Level, through your sub client account, this is what they're gonna see. So they can go on here on the left and add in their contacts, adjust their calendar, work through the conversations. This is what they're gonna see. Now, in order to give them access to this portion of their go high level, you're gonna to have to go back to your agency account and how you do those up here on the top left, just click on their name and then here you're gonna see a drop down menu and then we're gonna go ahead and click here, switch to agency view. Okay, so here we are back in the agency dashboard. You can see right here, agency dashboard. Now, in order to give your customer access to their sub account, what you're gonna do is here on the left side, down here at the bottom, click on settings. It looks like a gear icon. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna see this drop down menu and you wanna click on team. Okay, so here it's gonna show all of the admins and users. And in order to give your client access to their sub account, what you're gonna do is click on add employee up here on the top right. Okay, so here's where you can go ahead and give them access. So you're gonna go ahead and enter in the username, including first and last. You also need to enter in the correct email because they will receive an email granting them access into their Go High Level sub account. So let me go ahead and enter this in. Okay, so once you've entered that in, click on advanced settings. Okay, so here you can go ahead and make up a password for them. They can add in a password later. So that's up to if you wanna add that in. I'm not gonna do that. Next, you wanna click here, user permissions. So this, you can go ahead and scroll through here. And on the sub account, maybe you don't want them to access the AdWords reporting, or maybe you do not want them to be able to access the call reporting, you just turn it off. So this is really gonna depend on what kind of relationship you have with your customers. And then once you've chosen that, scroll down here, this is really important. You're gonna click on user roles. Okay, so you need to change this right here, especially if they are going to be a sub account. If you leave it on agency, that means that when they log in with this information up here, they're gonna be able to see all of your sub accounts inside of Go High Level. So maybe they are a hair salon, but you have other mechanic customers, they're gonna be able to see all the mechanic information. So you don't wanna do that. Definitely go ahead and change this to account. And right here on user role, usually if you're dealing with the owner or the manager, you're gonna put them in as an admin so they can manage the account on their own. If it's gonna be one of their employees or some sort of a specific role, then you can go ahead and change this to user, right? So once you verify that, now you need to add them to a sub account. 
So click here. And this is the one we're working on right now in on tie. So click there. Okay. So now that person is going to be added in as an account user to a sub account in my go high level as an admin. And then we need to make sure we're choosing the right company, which we have right here. And then we're going to click on save. Now, once you click on save, they're going to receive an email asking them to go ahead and log in as the admin user for that sub account in go high level. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to set up a new sub account in your go high level agency dashboard, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.